Coming at you with an updated take on an old favorite today, and that is the Sarah deck. Other variations of this deck have struggled a little bit, so I'm trying to re-update this and re-image it for the metagame that we have today. You'll note that I'm moving away from things like Shang-Chi and Killmonger, instead favoring our freshly buffed Shadow King here as a more efficient disruptive card that we can play out for just one energy on the final turn of the game with Sarah. Another key piece of technology in this deck to help us combat the various wave decks that are running around is invisible woman who can hold our cards until after the game has finished this allows us to tuck a kitty pride underneath there in the event that we expect that we're going to get waved or we can also use her to kind of supercharge our hit monkey playing hit monkey underneath invisible woman on an early turn who then counts how many cards we've played out on turn six for how big of a bonus he's going to get we still have other classic good Sarah things to be doing. Bishop to get bigger for every card that we played and Angela to get bigger for every card that hits her path. We got to tie the room together with a bass powering up all of our low power things as well as a copy of Mysterio who turns into three three power things when you bassed it. Overall, this build definitely felt like it still has some legs behind it getting big Sarah burst this archetype is known for while also having some flexibility and counterplay in the wave matchups thanks to the technology that Invisible Woman provides. The last thing of note here that I've done in this deck list is you note that we have America Chavez at the top end of our curve to add a little bit of consistency and one of the reasons why this card is nice in this deck now as well is because Sarah makes Chavez cost five, which means we can still play her out alongside this recently discounted Shadow King on that final turn, meaning she's not just consistency. She's a card that we're also playing out on occasion. At any rate, I hope you enjoy this fresh take on an old archetype. If you do like what you see, snap that button for the rest of the day. Have fun. I could just play for all three with the Paul. We can do this. Almost a disaster with our Shadow King. Almost, almost a disaster with our Shadow King. Victory. And now I'd like to take a quick second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Royal Match. Galactus and Turn 5 Waves got you feel stressed while snapping. Have no fear, Royal Match is here to help you relax and unwind as you play this delightfully fun match three game where you help King Robert renovate his castle. It is not only completely free to play, but there are no ads inside of the game itself and you don't even need an internet connection to play. The thousands of levels with tons of unique rewards waiting for you. If you want a fantastically easy and fun way to support my content, give the game an install now using my link in the video description down below or by scanning the QR code that's been on your screen this entire time. What are you waiting for? Help King Robert and Hoaglandia out. Now, let's get back to the snapping, huh? Casserold is a term for winning all three lanes in Marvel Step simultaneously. And it is verbiage that Ben Brode used on a Snap Podcaster stream that he was on at one point. Gonna hawk the New York, I think. Or for here. Good take.
Not vision. Not vision. Just a type of Are you sure? Although I guess we're kind of playing chicken with the New York either way with the Shadow King, huh? I'm gonna put you and you here and you here. And I'm gonna go Mysterio, Snow Guard, Shadow King, Hit Monkey. Except I'm gonna put the Shadow King first because it's bugged and takes away Mysterio's power at the moment. Also, this is a this is a fun interaction. Uh, Loot Cage with Bastard Mysterio gives me two three power clones and a four power real Mysterio. So where the where the real one is going actually matters here when we have Mr. Cage in play with the best. It's a 10, 10 power, two energy card. Oh wait, am I big enough in the middle? Oh, I'm actually gonna be one short, right? Is the hit monkey big enough on the left? We're too short in the middle. No, we're one short in the middle. How big is hit monkey? Hit monkeys, one, two, three, four, five. Are we one short over here too? No, we're one over, cool. Close game. to the nebula path that we got kitty here now it, it is worth noting that most of these nebula decks are mm. sorry finish. most of these nebula decks are wave wave decks so i think i'm gonna play invisible a bit here now actually playing Juggernaut instead of just high Evo bullshit. It's bad, man. We were going to be able to play around a wave here, but it's not going to be the case anymore. It's kind of the point of what it's trying to do. All right, and we won the flip on where the rescue went. So I get to Shadow King her, which is great. And because I have a loot cage, Shadow King does not get my card here, which is wonderful. Chavez then. I guess it could be like a Hulk too if they're high emo deck. Oh, no, we beat that one. We were beating Claude. We were beating Dr. Doom, right? Uh, did we beat Eliath? We lost the breaker to Eliath by one. Need to manage and uh, you'll always get there. Say my, say my first radio chat. I've been doing this for a decade. Godama, thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. 
This prime sub has somehow dropped my infinite rank by 100 levels. Sounds like a personal problem. Consider consulting your doctor if it continues. What a fucking monster. Imagine imagine having the option to get rid of Dream Dimension and you instead get rid of something else. What a, what a shame. DC is good for Mysterio at least. Your, Mysteri your real Mysterio will have four power, so this is a 10 power two drop. Fear Cerebro 3. But I have Luke Cage, so I'm not really concerned. And then I don't mind Val because I have Luke Cage. I think this is it. Yeah, they just they just punted them at all. So we play for the left and the right. Cerebro into Valk. We actually just went all three, right? Cerebro three, continuing to look like an embarrassing pile of cards. Victory. So appreciate it. Is Stogard. Stogard is one of the best one drops in the game. She's very, very good. I think I need to play into Grand Central and then we'll just like uh, Snow Guard off this next turn and probably just not play Sarah. Let's see what we draw there, I guess. And then it's just like King Cage Shadow next turn. They could have gotten our cage for our Shadow King, is worth noting, yeah. Something to think about as we're trying to sequence here. Also just like not play much into the danger room and I could play just like force them to put four points here and assume if they put four points here they don't beat this I like this
record, I don't think saying hello is toxic, but I just am not in the mood to get emoted at today. Very, very little desire. Shurikity, I guess, but I have, I have Shadow King. Although I do kind of need Moon Cage. Yeah, Snapback probably means Shurikity. Uh, Hulkbuster plus Kitty, I bet. Oh, okay. Do this then. Replace around Killmonger. I really wish my hit monkey could go middle. Regardless of where the Mysterio went between here and here with them Scarlet Witching. Victory. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.